Hi, my name's Lee and I'm here at the Yemeni Community Centre in West Bromwich to talk to two members of staff about the Yemeni community and what they do to support them. What's your name and what's your role here? My name's Afra Muflahi and my role is the Health Development Officer okay. at the Yemeni Community. My name's Abdul Kash and I'm the Welfare Rights Officer here. Okay. The centre was first set up really basically um, to meet the needs of the Yemeni community in Sandwell. There wasn't a, a, anybody representing the needs of the Yemeni community in Sandwell okay. and that's the reason. Okay. Do you want to add anything? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because a majority of the Yemeni community lives in Sandwell, okay. so we just thought the best place to put the centre would be where everybody can okay. access it. Okay. So we've got a website that we advertise on. We also do mail shots. We also are well known within the community, okay. so we're able to tell them. We send things by emails and we try and promote our services really through the posters, mail shots and emails. Okay. And word of mouth. And word of mouth, yeah. <laughs> social events like okay. Eid during Ramadan. So. Okay. We try and generate an income through facilities hire mm -hmm. for us. We also get income through, we, we apply for grants through trusts and we also get core, small core funding from Sandwell NBC. Okay. We also get funding from Lottery and, and your, Sporting and, and your post. And help. Sandwell PC is <laughs> yeah. my role. It's <laughs> never sufficient. No, especially in the current climate yeah. now, they're talking mm. about cuts, so they're going to talk about either stopping some of our services, um, reducing our income for some of our services. I mean, we, we've, also, we've already felt an impact with our income generation for the conference hire and the office hire that it's, it's affected. So it's, no, it's not sufficient and I think it'll probably get worse. So you don't feel there's any way they can improve? We, we've, we're waiting, obviously, to see what the, how much cuts we're going to be getting and then we're trying to, we're trying to generate our own funding proposals to try and generate some income from other bodies. Okay. We don't know what the outcome of that.